Hi folks, I'm Randy Kewins with Kicking Bass Guide Service and welcome to Kentucky Lake. Today we're going to do some bass fishing and we're going to do uh, one of my favorite techniques, throwing the shaky head. Uh, in a minute we're going to see if we can catch a fish here. But let me tell you a little bit about the equipment we're using. Uh, we're using spinning gear today. This is a G. Loomis 6 foot 10 inch shaky head rod. The reel is a Shimano Stratic 1000 series. And this is a matched up combo for this type of fishing. And uh, as far as the line goes, we use a braided line. This is a uh, 10 pound yellow Power Pro uh, braided line. And it's joined onto a um, furrow carbon leader, which is a cigar 10 pound line. But let's see if we can catch a fish. We got a great morning this morning. There's little or no wind, even though we've had a kind of a northeasterly wind, which sometimes wreaks havoc with the fishing. We're here on a uh, lee-sided bank on the east side. We're fixing to have a beautiful sunrise here in a minute. and Let's see if these fish are doing anything. What I'm doing, I'm putting this shaky head out there. This is a chunk rock bank with deep water nearby. And when they're lower in the water this time of year, they're, um, these fish like to get and suspend off of these banks. And um, there's one messing with it right there. Got another one here. For you folks that's never been to Kentucky Lake, we've got some great accommodations, places to stay. They're uh, very fisherman friendly and they're easy on the wallet too. We've had people this year all over the country from the Midwest, the South, Northeast. Tucky Lake is a great destination to do more than just fish. There's a lot of things to do. We got the land between the lakes and that's got, we got the elk and bison prairie over there. A lot of camping, a lot of horseback riding. There's even an ATV. There's a fish right there. We've got an ATV place called Turkey Bay, OHV area. That's got hundreds of miles of trails to ride. It's just, I used to go over there in my earlier days. It's not a real big fish, but it's a fun size. This fish here is probably uh, a 2008 year class, maybe a 2009. That's when they were, uh, 2008 class, uh, that's the spawning year. Uh, the 2007 was the mother of all spawns. Those fish are now approaching uh, legal size, which is 15 inches, which uh, here on Kentucky Lake, that's gonna be a two and three quarter pound to three pound fish. We had another great spawn in 2008. That fish there, I'm not sure, it could be 2,000. It's probably a 2,008 fish. There's a lot of bait fish working this bank right now. Even those guys get hung up every now and then. Ooh. One thing about using braided line in a floral carbon leader, you have um, little or no stretch, so you don't have to do a real hard hook set on it. That's one of the advantages of the braided line in the floral carbon setup. The braid gives you the ultimate in sensitivity. I can literally f feel a fish when it gets close to it and almost breathes on it. and um, also, the braid is very durable. It's great as far as castability goes, but you need the uh, fluorocarbon leader to keep that uh, braided line from being seen by the fish. That's real important. And I usually tie on a nine, a nine foot uh, leader. Keep those fish from seeing it. 
We're in about 11 and a half feet of water. There's another fish. They're not real aggressive this morning. It's been pretty cool. We've had, uh, as everyone knows, this time in August, we've had some tremendously hot weather. Then all of a sudden we had like a, a high 50 degree night last night. So it takes just a minute to adjust to the uh, mood of the fish. There's one right there. Had to wait on him a little bit. That's another smaller fish. This is a four inch Strike King Super Finesse Worm. And it's that Elastec material and I absolutely really like this material. Uh, this is a PJ's uh, bass extractor jig. It's a 3 16 ounce. And uh, this is a great combination, just a great combination. Uh, you can catch a lot of fish on these lures before you have to take and change, change your bait out. Right now, I'm gonna see if we can catch us a good one. There's a bunch of fish working over that, on that point right over there. For you uh, guys that are just starting out to, to become bass fishermen, there's a couple of things you may want to think about. Um, when you're approaching a bank to fish it, you need to kill your engine a long way off and uh, ease your trolling motor into the water. I know I found out just through trial and error that you're better off uh, having a stealthy approach when you're coming up anytime you're going to fish a spot. I see a lot of folks that, uh, that'll come in, get a little too close to the bank, and it'll throw the fish off. They won't bite or it slows them down. Like that one right there, I just really didn't do much. Just let him come up and grab the back of it. You really don't want any action this morning. I'm doing my best to manage uh, to match the mood of the fish. And that's difficult. You know, the, the average fisherman, including myself, we want to constantly be moving those baits, but this morning that's not what they want. We want a very slow presentation with little or no action on the bait. That's another great thing about fishing a shaky head. You can fish it fast, you can fish it medium, you can fish it slow. You can really match the mood of the fish. And as you can see today, that's pretty daggone important being able to get in gear with what they want. Hey folks, if you want to come catch some Kentucky Lake bass, check or visit my website. We'd love to take you fishing, catch fish and have a good time. That's what it's all about. the mouth.